Okay, welcome back to the HTML videos. In this one, uh, what we're going to have a look at, I'm just going to go over the um, uh, some of the linking stuff that I did at the end of the last video. Where I showed you how to link from uh, one page um, to another page on your own site. Um, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can make that process a little bit uh, a little bit easier when you're going to be creating multiple page websites. Um, we're also going to have a look at tables and we're going to have a look at layers and also something called comments as well. Okay, so at the end of the um, last video I showed you how to add um, links, specifically this sort of link here. Um, you can see it's a link tag A um, and the href is pointing just at page2.html. It doesn't have a full um, web address in it like this one um, up here. Okay, And so what the system will do is rather than going on the internet to try and find um, this page, it will just search in the same folder uh, that the current page is in and the text that we've got on the screen takes us to page two. You can see over here, uh, if I just zoom in uh, my my text here, make it a little bit easier for you to see, uh, here is the link right here. When I click on that, it takes me uh, to page two, and it only takes me to page two um, if I actually have a uh, page two um, .html file in existence. If it doesn't, I'm gonna get an error message, right? Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to use page 2 as a template of sorts. So if we just create a basic um, web uh, basic web page, nothing special, um, just with the, the foundations of um, what we had at the start of our uh, web page, so HTML, um, there it is. Uh, we need a head in there. Nope. Um, and inside the head, we want a title. Um, I'm just going to put the words title in capital letters there. Uh, we should also link it to our style sheet. Uh, so we want to have link uh, type. Type equals uh, text CSS, href equals uh, main.css, um, uh, rel equals style sheet. Okay, there's our, uh, that's linked in there, and we want to create a body. Um, maybe there's something going in the body. I don't know, maybe we'll have a, an H1 um, in there, uh, let's call it heading, and we'll have a, um, a, a paragraph in there as well, uh, uh, text, right. So there's nothing, there's nothing special about this web page, it's just a basic uh, web page. I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to save. Okay, and there our uh, our web page appears. Now, whenever I create a new page, it's going to have all of this stuff in. Okay, it might have some extra stuff as well, but I know that every single web page I'm going to create is going to have this stuff as a uh, as a starting point. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to select Save As. You can't see it on my screen there because it's popping up a whole bunch of windows. But if I save that as template dot html okay it means that now I've got a template page uh, which I can um, create uh, new web pages from every time I want to create a new uh, a new web page so um, in order to do that what I will do is I will open up my template and then just go file save as uh, and call it uh, something else, let's call it, I don't know, page 3 maybe, uh, .html and I click on save and you can see now I've still got my template down here, I've also got uh, page 3 up here, um, I could change that so it says page 3 there 
okay, uh, making sure you're you're saving all the time, um, and it means that you don't have to keep on typing out the same stuff over and over again. If I just go back to my index here, let's say I want to add another uh, link here to page three, I can say a href equals uh, page three. You'll notice that once you've created these pages, they show in the list of um, quick select options in brackets. So I can just say page three dot HTML uh, and I can say page three there. Okay, um, as soon as I save that, um, it appears on my page. I click on it, boom, it's taken me to, uh, to page three. If, for instance, on my page three, I wanted to link back to index, dead easy. Okay, same thing. I, I mean, I'm going through this specifically so that you, you see how it works and you can try it out yourself. A href equals uh, index.html. There it is. Um, let's go back to um, back to home page let's say okay save that there it is um, click back to home page uh, just to let you know I'm saving this um, by holding down control and pressing s control s will will save the stuff for you so you don't have to keep going file and then save as okay uh, if you want to do save save as rather than save Control Shift S will do it. Will do it for you. Okay, so hopefully uh, you you get how all of those different links work. You should now also have your own um, template um, page here as well. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, my page two here um, to uh, explain how these. Um, tables work. So we've got a heading and we've got some text. I'm actually going to get rid of that text on my page too. I'm going to create something called a table. Um, now the code is, when you first see it, it's a little bit complicated. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out the code um, and show you what it looks like and then I'll explain uh, what's going on. So uh, we want table um, I'm going to specify a border in here. Ordinarily, I wouldn't, um, but I'm doing it so you can so it makes it easier to see what's going on. All right. So we've got a table, and inside our table, we are going to have lots of rows. So here's my table row, and my first table row is going to have a uh, table heading. Uh, it's going to be. Superhero. And the second one is going to have a uh, real name. And then we're going to have a third one, which is going to be powers. Okay, so there's our first row. Now I'm going to create a second row here. Um, we're going to have some table data now. Uh, we'll start off with Batman. Everyone loves Batman, right? Um, Batman, uh, his real name is Bruce Wayne. Um, powers, he actually doesn't have any superpowers. So I'm going to put none there. Another row. I'll show you what it looks like after this row, and then I'll show you how you can add some more stuff. So after Bruce Wayne, we're going to have Superman. Real name is not actually Clark Kent. That's his. That's his name that he uses to describe himself. Uh, his real name is actually Cal L. There you go. Um, his superpowers, oh, he's got so many of them. Um, flight, super strength, um, he's got heat vision. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. Right, so if I now save this, have a look at see how it's appearing on my screen here, right? We've got three rows, and if you have a look at my table, I've got three rows here. There's one row, there's another row, and there's another row. 
Okay, the first row. So rows go across, columns go down. The first row contains a heading, superhero, uh, a heading, real name, and a heading, powers. Well, that's exactly what we've got here. Okay, so inside the table, we've got a table row, and then inside the table row, we've got three table headings. Okay, so the order that you write this code is the order that things are going to appear in your table, uh, starting in the top left corner and and going across. Okay, so um, the first row we usually use TH, which stands for table heading. Uh, and subsequent rows, we usually use TD, which stands for table data. Okay, uh, it's worth pausing the video, typing it out yourself, and just having a look to see how that uh, goes together. Have a go as well at um, adding a couple of new rows yourself. So pause the video, add a couple of new rows with some other superheroes, uh, see if you can get them uh, looking right. And then when you unpause it, uh, I'll just add those rows in. So to add a new row, we have to have the TR, the table row tag. And inside the TR tag, we're going to have our table data. So who are we going to have next? Let's have Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man. There he is. Don't forget the hyphen in between Spider and Man. Uh, we've got um, his real name is Peter Parker. Um, and his superpowers. Uh, well, he's got he's got quite a lot of superpowers, doesn't he? Um, I'll put agility, agility. Uh, he's got super strength as well. Uh, it's, it's got spider sense. Um, and wall climbing. Before you say you can shoot webs as well, well, actually, in the original, he didn't actually have the power to shoot webs. He made uh, devices to be able to shoot his his webs. Uh, so there's my extra row. When I save it, you can see it's now added that to my um, to my table. Okay, uh, you can create tables about anything that you want. Um, you can also use tables to um, arrange things on your page but there's a better way of doing that which I'm going to get into in just a moment. Um, I'll show you why I added the border equals one here to the table. If I just get rid of that border equals one and save it you can see um, it still lines things up properly but it doesn't add the, uh, the, the border lines there. Um, there are better ways of adding uh, borders to tables, but we're going to have a look at that in a future video. So for now, if you want to add a border, and you can specify um, a, a different size, maybe you want border equals 5, um, and you can see that adds a, a big thick border around the outside. The inside borders still look the uh, still look the same though. Okay, it's a, it's up to you um, what you set the border to. But in a future video, I'm going to show you how you can make your tables look that little bit a little bit nicer. Okay, so that is how you add um, tables. Okay, um, you could. One, if you wanted some practice on that, you could try creating a table which shows all of the times tables in there. So you've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across the top. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, down the side. And then uh, you can read off the, uh, the, the times tables in there. Um, but we are now going to have a look at um, layers. Okay, So I'm going to switch to my page 3 now. Here's my page 3. Um, I have some text there. Um, this paragraph is inside a layer. Well, that's a lie. It's not at the moment, but I'm going to put it inside a layer. The layer tag is div. That's short for division. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting this paragraph tag inside the div tag. Um, there we go. Get rid of that. So I'll just um, separate that so you can see what's going on. 
So we've got our heading as normal, and then we've said, um, okay, we've got a layer, and we've put this paragraph inside the layer. Let's save it and see what it looks like. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't really look any different. Um, what's changed? Um, well, let me show you what has changed. Um, the divs themselves don't actually do anything unless we say that we want them to do something. Okay, so one thing that we could do is we could give this div an ID. I'm going to say ID equals, uh, let's say, box. Um, we're going to we're going to turn this this uh, layer into a box, right? So we've added this ID. I'm now going to press Control E to bring up the um, the rule editor. I'm going to add a new rule. Okay. When you click on new rule, you should find that the rule applies just to the box. Okay. So we said ID equals box, and your rule should look like this: hash box. Okay. So now we're going to give it some. Um, we're going to give it some specifics. Let's give it a width of uh, 100 pixels, um, and we will give it a border. Border uh, is going to be one pixel uh, solid black. Don't worry uh, if you don't understand what this code that I'm typing in right now is. Just copy it out, and you'll see how it works. Background, we'll make it red. Um, and um, that will do for now. Okay, so if I now save that, you can see that paragraph is inside this layer which we have made 100 pixels wide. We've added a one pixel border around it. Okay, and we've made the background red. Okay, you can add tons of stuff inside. You can have multiple paragraphs inside the layer if you want to. Um, this is also inside the layer. Okay, um, if I just save that now, you can see I've added that extra paragraph. If I wanted to, I could um, add another uh, layer here. I'm going to call this one back. Um, and this div is going to contain the um, link to take us home. Now, I'm just going to add, by control E, a new rule just for the um, uh, that hasn't worked properly. Maybe I need to click there. New rule. Yes, there we go. Make sure that you've actually clicked on the ID when you press Control E. So this time uh, we are going to make this. Um, we're gonna let's make it green inside. We're gonna say width. Um, we'll make it 150 pixels this time. We will uh, still give it a border. Uh, we want one pixel solid black again. Um, let's give it some padding of uh, five pixels. Um, um, okay, so but now we're going to do something slightly different because we, if I save that, um, I haven't given it the green background. Background dash color. Um, let's make it chartreuse. There's an interesting colour. We'll, we'll do that. Um, I don't want it to be there. I want it to be maybe down down the bottom of the page somewhere. Um, and so what I can do is I can specify the position. I can say uh, position absolute. And this allows me to position the layer um, according to the dimensions of the page on the screen, right? Um, so I can say now, 
Um, I want it to be maybe 10 pixels up from the bottom. So I can say bottom um, 10px and I want it to be, you can see it's instantly changed there. Um, and I want it to be, I don't know, um, halfway in maybe. Um, so if I say left, I don't have to specify pixels. I could say 50% here. Um, and it's moved it down the bottom of the screen um, and uh, it's it's moved it across the, the side. You'll notice as I move the uh, screen up and down as well that um, the the box, the layer, moves with it as well. Okay, So creating layers allows you to move things around the page. I mean we could, if we wanted to, move this box around the page as well. Position, absolute, um, and let's say we just want it to be um, a little bit further down from the top. So we could say top, uh, I don't know, 500 pixels maybe. Maybe that's too far. Um, let's change that to 250 pixels. Hmm. You see what I can do here? I can play around with the different uh, with the different settings. Um, until I get it into a nice position. Um, I can specify right as well, that's the distance from the right hand side of the screen. Um, maybe I want it to be, I don't know, 20% off from the right hand side of the screen. Okay, it doesn't really matter uh, what, what, what you put in here. I'm just showing you that by putting things inside um, the div tags, you can um, move them around. Okay, so that stuff's inside my div tag, and the div ID box. This is where we set up what that box is actually going to look like. Okay, now it's worth noting I've said div ID equals box here. I couldn't do the same thing. I can't say div ID equals box down here because you can only have one ID um, per. Uh, per name, so you can't you can't say uh, here's my div with ID box and here's another div with ID box. Um, you you each ID has to be unique. Okay. Um, now it might be that you want to have uh, boxes with the same sort of look and feel, um, but in a later video I'm going to show you how you can do that and how you can uh, and also I'll explain what all of this different stuff means. For now as long as you um, understand that uh, you can press select the ID, you press control E, add the new rule um, and then adding all of this stuff in here. It doesn't really matter what you put in here you can change the width, you can change the height um, it's this position really is the uh, is, is the important is the important thing, okay? Because it allows you to move things around on your page. It allows you to uh, to put things in different positions on your page, okay? Um, the final thing that I wanted to show you um, was comments, and this is a way that you can um, add information to your web page which isn't going to display on the screen, and you do it like this. kind of like an HTML tag you open with the angle bracket and then you press a uh, and then you have an exclamation mark dash dash and then anything that comes after that is going to be completely ignored by your web browser until it finds the dash dash uh, closing tag there okay it's a way of uh, putting information in your web page so you can find it again later and I'm going to show you how that's going to be useful here in the template right so I'm just going to open our template again um, I'm going to put a comment in here change the title Okay, that's a reminder when you create a new page from your template you're going to change the title Okay, um, heading is pretty straightforward, uh, but maybe we want to have a section where um, start off with an image, 
Okay, so this is basically a, a telling us what we're going to do here, and then we are going to have something like um, main page info here. Okay, so you can use comments to sort of structure um, how your uh, how your pages are going to look and give yourself some information so that you can find stuff that's going on. Notice it, you can't see it on the page. Okay, it's not it's not visible. If you view the page source, it's still it's still there. Okay. So what we've done so far is um, we have looked at uh, text. We've looked at um, links, we've looked at images, we've looked at um, tables and layers, um, but it's all been pretty um, uh, kind of boring in the sense that it doesn't look amazing. It's all been uh, black text on a white background, so in the next video we're going to have a look at how to change that.